to line up these tiles, I made sure that the center seam here lines up with the seam on the back wall. Then I just set them up, put in spacers between them, and that tells me how much I need to cut off. So I'll just take off an extra quarter inch to give me the eighth inch space on either side. I cut the tiles to width, but now I have to mark the backs to cut them. But of course I left my Sharpie out by the saw. Alright, so I'm back. I have my Sharpie. And I have to mark these tiles. The problem I have is that my floor is not level. It slopes down that way. Because I kept the original floor. But this is new and this is level. So I have to mark these. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to flip them over so that the good side is facing in. And I'll just mark them along the back. And then that will give me... Now that will give me the right cut down at the bottom. Now you want to make sure you keep the finished edge up and the finished edge in. Now you want your cut ends to be on the outside and the bottom. Alright, so you can see that gave me a perfect cut here. I put spacers in here. Now, what I'll do is I'll put this one on here, butt it up against here with the spacer. Make my mark and cut it there. So I have to be honest here, I didn't do a perfect job when I did the concrete mud pan. So I have to scribe the bottom row of tiles to this. So the way I'm doing that is I drew a level line that represents the top of the second course of tile. And I cut this scrap piece of backer board to three and a quarter inches. Three inches for the tile and then a quarter inch for to account for the eighth of an inch gap between each tile for grout. What I'm going to do is hold this tile up to my line. This is the tile that I have to cut. So I'm going to hold that there. And I'm going to put this right up to it. Mark that. not the line but I'm actually just going to cut the the waste part. I'm, I'm going to keep the line and just cut all the waste away and that will give me the perfect cut to fit in there. So here's the piece I just cut and when I put the piece that will be on the next course on there and you know, with spacers of course you'll see that it's comes right up to my level line just how I need it to.